your roller or your Pilates ball, you're just placing it in front of the legs here and bringing the legs about hip width and parallel, just like you would do normally if you were standing. And just plant the feet and the legs down into the floor behind you. And then just stacking yourself into neutral, just like you would in standing. So stacking over the pelvis and tucking the tailbone under. It's very tempting in high kneeling to move through the hips. So try and keep the hips still. And we're gonna mobilize through the spine, essentially coming into a roll down and then using the roller to almost come into a cat position. So you can try it with the ball or feel free to just bring your hands onto the floor if that feels easier. So stack through the spine, lengthened out through the top of the head. Let's just take a nice deep breath into the rib cage. And as you exhale, start to nod the head. Roll down through the spine and there'll be a small response from the hips here as you roll down. Hands onto the roller or the ball in front of you and just roll it out in front. Not going too far, so keeping this gentle curve off the spine and hold it here. And we're now going to unravel from the tail and then ripple through the spine, just gently lifting through the chest. So almost look over the roller in front of you and hold it here, take a breath. And as you breathe out, start to tuck the tail again, curl through the spine, rolling back in towards you. And then restack through the spine, coming all the way back up to high kneeling. So again, inhale, exhale as we nod the head, start to roll it down, working through the spine, hands onto the roller and rolling out in front. Keeping that curve, and then when you're ready, we're going to unravel first of all from the tail, ripple through, lifting the chest slightly. So, a very gentle extension, try and avoid dropping too far through the ribs. Inhale and exhale again as you start to tuck the tail, start curling through the spine as you roll back in and then restack through the spine and let's keep it going and try and find a nice flow through the movement. So warming up, mobilizing the spine, rolling out in front and then unravel, lifting the chest, looking over the roller. And restack when you're ready. Let's go for three more. Really lovely way just to warm up the body this morning. So if you're using a ball, you're doing the same, rolling it out in front of you. And then unraveling through the spine. Or you could just do this with the hands on the floor so you're not rolling, you're just placing the hands down. Last couple. Making sure you restack to neutral each time. And with this last one now, we're going to come out and we're going to stay down. So when you're ready again, just rolling it down through the spine onto the roller, rolling out in front of you. Last time, just unravel into that nice gentle extension. And then from here, now just return your spine back to neutral. So eye line should be down in between the arms and you should find a relatively neutral flat spine here. So you shouldn't be rounding through the back into that C curve and you shouldn't be dropping the rib cage towards the floor. And we're just gonna work into the shoulders here. So just take a breath and as you breathe out, allow yourself to sink into the shoulders. So you're lowering the chest slightly towards the floor, but try and keep the rib cage connected into the body. So try and avoid just dropping the ribs, 
because we're trying to avoid too much extension here. Hold as you inhale. And then exhale as you just start to draw out of the shoulders and just roll in very slightly towards you with the roller. So you lift out of the shoulders. And then inhale. Exhale as you roll away. And again, start to sink, taking the chest towards the floor, but avoid sinking the rib cage. Inhale. Exhale, gently roll in and lift out of the shoulders very slightly. Inhale, exhale as you sink down into the shoulders towards the floor. Keep the ribs connected. Inhale and exhale as we come out of the shoulders. We're just going to do it one more time each way. And then lowering it down now, sinking the chest into the shoulders and just slowly take your hands off the roller or the ball, hands onto the floor, sit yourself all the way back to the heels and into your rest position. And just take a moment here to focus the breath, breathing into the back and the sides of the rib cage. Hopefully feeling a little bit warmer already. And then with the next breath out, let's tuck the tail, rolling up and stacking through the spine. We'll just briefly into kneeling, but on the heels now. And we're gonna use the roller for threading the needle. So into all fours, and you could use a ball here if you don't have a roller, quite similar to what we did in classes. So you'll need to have the roller one side of the mat. I'm going to do it on my right side first, just so you can see a little bit easier. And you might need to shimmy over to that right side of the mat as well. If my roller doesn't roll away from me. So onto, <laughs> onto all fours. Don't roll away, please. Stay there. Onto all fours. <laughs> Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Lengthening out into your neutral spine. So you can either use a roller or you can use a ball. So bringing the back of the left hand either onto the ball underneath you or onto that roller onto the side. So try and avoid sinking back towards the heels. And what we want to avoid is coming into extension. We want pure rotation. So try and avoid the hips twisting with you. Try and stay stable through the pelvis. So we just work through the upper back. So inhale and exhale as you roll your roller or your ball. And we're not going to go too far. So soft supporting arm, but try and avoid the hips twisting with you. Try and stay stable. Inhale to hold. Exhale as you roll back in. Same again on this side. Inhale. Exhale as you roll. So you feel that it's really coming through the rib cage and the upper body, keeping the pelvis in neutral. Inhale. Exhale to roll in. Two more on this side. So it's a nice small rotation, not too big. You might have a little bit more range actually if you've got a ball underneath you rather than a roller. When you're ready, place the hand back to the floor and let's switch sides. So bringing the roller over to the other side, shimmy yourself across to the other side of the mat if you need to. And we'll do four again now with the right hand, back of the hand on the roller or on the ball underneath you. Same again, try and stay stable through the pelvis. Inhale, exhale as we roll. Inhale, and exhale as we roll back in. Three more. So try and avoid shifting the hips or the pelvis. So it's head, neck and shoulders and through the rib cage, finding that nice gentle rotation. Again, just finish your last one. Place the hand back onto the floor and just sit yourself back and up into kneeling. And we're gonna bring the legs out in front now and come into a seated position. You could have um, a pillow or a block underneath you here just to help lift you up and out of the hips. And you can use either your small Pilates ball or your roller on top of the legs. And we're gonna use the ball or the roller to come into spine stretch. 
So you can relax the feet. Normally I would say to flex the feet, but actually point the toes away from you here. Legs together, stacked over the pelvis, lengthened up, neutral spine, drawing the rib cage in and drawing the abdominals in. So hands just resting onto your ball or your roller. Inhale and exhale as you nod the head, start to roll down the spine and roll the roller down the legs or the ball if you are using the ball. And you just want to find this nice gentle C curve. So try and avoid hinging at your hips and just folding yourself in half. So don't reach too far. Feel so that you're drawing the rib cage into the back of the body and you're just gently rounding. Inhale to hold, exhale as you roll back in towards you, stacking up through the spine. And now feel that you lift the chest towards the ceiling. So you come into a gentle extension in that upper back. And let's inhale, exhale as we start to nod the head and roll it down again, rolling away from you and gently rounding into C curve. Try and avoid dropping too far. Inhale. Exhale as we roll in, restack, lifting the chest towards the ceiling and into extension. And exhale, rolling it down and rolling away. Really draw the rib cage into the back of the body. Restack, rolling in, lifting the chest and into extension. Let's do one more each way. And finishing with the extension and then just bring yourself back to neutral eyes forward and relax shoulders and we're now going to bring the roller behind us and you could use the small ball here and you're going to come, oh, if you're using a ball, you're coming over into a curl up position, very similar to what you did in classes this week. But if you're using a roller, you just want to place it behind the back of your shoulders, not too far down. And then supporting head with hands, elbows in the corner of your eyes, feet tucked in towards you, hip width and parallel. And with the roller, you're not coming all the way over like you would do with a ball. You're only coming over very slightly, so you're allowing the weight to come down into the roller across the back of the shoulders. We're not going too far. And just take a breath, and as you breathe out, just slowly start to lift the hips. So you bring yourself off the floor, so you're resting onto the roller, and we're just going to gently roll up and down through the back of the shoulder blades. And this is where the roller is going to really get into some of that deep tissue across the back of the shoulders in the rib cage. Keep supporting the head, avoid dropping your head back too far. Elbows in the corner of your eyes. And if you have a ball instead, you can work through some gentle curl ups. We'll still be working into the thoracic area of the spine. And just breathing naturally here and maybe if you feel an area that's a little bit niggly you can hold it there for a moment with the roller into that area and hopefully it will slightly release and then you can move to another point that feels a bit niggly and hold it there and that's what the roller is really good for to get into some of those areas that might feel a bit knotty a bit tight and if you want to you can just slightly increase the range of movement so as you roll down or up should I say, you bring your hips and pelvis just to touch the mat slightly and then as you lift away you extend the hips and just come a little bit further over the roller, a little bit further down and then lower and lift. You're also going to get a little bit of work into the hips here. So drop the hips and then extend the hips up. So you just make that movement a little bit bigger, a little bit more weight onto the roller working into the back of the shoulders. Let's just go for a couple more. If it gets too much, do feel free to stop. And 
And now just slowly lower yourself down onto the mat and just very slowly with your hands so that the roller doesn't roll out from underneath you. Bring yourself up off the roller or off the ball. And this is where if your roller is long enough, you're gonna flip it round so it comes into the middle of the mat and we're gonna lie onto the roller. So if you don't have a roller or if it's too short, then just lie yourself down onto the floor instead. But if you do have a long enough roller, you're gonna sit right on the very, very end and then bring yourself back all the way down onto the roller like you would on the floor. So the full length of your spine onto the roller. You might want the feet just a little bit wider maybe to give you some stability, but still parallel and relax through arms and shoulders. And just take a moment to settle onto the roller. If it is uncomfortable, feel free to take it away and just work on the floor. And it's quite nice with the roller because it's going to give you lots of feedback here to help find your neutral spine. So just as we would do on the floor, feel the weight on the back of the pelvis, draw the rib cage down, relax the shoulders and just find that natural curve in the lower back. So you shouldn't be flat onto the roller, you should be in your neutral spine, settling the head. And we're going to work into the shoulders here, we're going to start off with windows. So we're going to float the arms up just above the shoulders, palms facing away from you. And what we want to avoid is lifting the spine, arching away from the roller and lifting the ribs. So keep the rib cage down. And if you need to, just keep the range of movement small and don't go too close to the floor. So first off, take a breath in to prepare. And as you breathe out, you're drawing the elbows down towards the floor. So arms are almost in a double U shape and you open up across the chest. And now inhale as you rotate from the shoulder and the upper arms to face the palms up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you reach back over the head and watch that you don't flare the rib cage. Inhale as you then float the arms back up to the start position. So we exhale, draw the arms down wide and open the chest. Inhale as you rotate at the shoulder, palms to face the ceiling. Exhale as you reach back over the head. And then inhale as we float the arms back up and keep it going. Exhale as you draw it down nice and wide. Inhale, rotate at the shoulder. Exhale, reach it back, avoid lifting the ribs. Inhale as you float back up. Let's go for three more. So the lower you go, the more work into the shoulders. And you might even feel if you've got a roller that you're almost hugging the shoulder blades into the roller behind you. And just watch that you're not arching the spine or lifting the rib cage, especially as you start to send the arms back behind you. Keeping your neutral spine. Finishing your last one when you're ready. Floating the arms all the way back up. So we're just going to hold it here. We're now going to come into arm circles. So again, go careful. Try and avoid arching the spine away from the roller. And so we're going to inhale as we take the arms back over the head. Exhale as you circle the arms around all the way. And then inhale as we float back up and over the head. Exhale as we circle the arms around. Two more this direction. Inhale, float over the head, palms facing the ceiling. Exhale, circle round, roll the palms back down. Inhale, floating over. Exhale, circle round, and now let's change direction for the other way. So just really be mindful of what's happening through the rib cage, through the spine. And if you do feel uncomfortable or just a bit too wobbly, then come off the roller if you need to. Hopefully you've got enough space. I've just about got enough room to do arm circles. Ooh. And finish your last one. You can bring the arms all the way down now and let them rest by your side. You might want them a little bit wider here for a bit of support as we're just going to come into some knee folds here. So quite nice with the back of the pelvis and the hips on the roller. So just taking a moment, find your neutral spine, just reset if you need to. Inhale 
exhale as you take one leg off the floor into knee folds, inhale, exhale as you take it down, same on the other side, inhale, exhale to float the leg into knee folds, inhale, exhale as you take it down, let's go for four more all together, try and avoid shifting too much on the roller, try and keep that neutral pelvis, try and avoid dropping on one side, as you lift. And just balance yourself out. Turn the feet to the floor when you're ready. And now again, using the arms to help support you, just slowly bring yourself off the roller, so sit yourself up, use the hands to help you. And you can just lift off and move the roller out to one side and sit yourself onto the floor. And we're gonna come round into sitting again and into a long frog position this time. And you can have either your roller or your Pilates ball next to you on one side. So if you can sit into long frog position, again, you might want to have pillow or block to sit on underneath you, either long frog or maybe legs crossed if that feels easier or even take the legs out in front if that feels more comfortable. So we're going to come into side reach here. So the roller is here or the ball is here to give you a little bit of support as you come into the side reach. Really think about anchoring yourself down onto the floor so equal weight on the sitting bones. As you reach over the temptation is to lift off on one side. Try and avoid that happening. That would be an indication that you've gone a little bit too far. So let's place a hand onto the roller or the ball next to you and the other arm down by your side on the floor. So stacked into neutral, just gently drawing in through the center. Inhale as you float the arm up. And now exhale as you come over into side reach, taking the roller or the ball with you not too far, keeping yourself anchored down, equal weight on those sitting bones. So it almost feel that you lift this side of the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Hold it here as you inhale. Exhale as you start to restack and roll back in towards you and float the arm down. Lovely, add again on this side. Inhale, float the arm. And exhale, coming over. Almost feel that you lift that rib cage out to the side and up to the ceiling. Inhale to hold, and exhale as you restack and roll in, floating the arm down. Lovely, two more on this side. Inhale to float the arm, exhale as we come over. Avoid too much weight on the ball of the roller, it's just moving with the spine. Inhale to hold, exhale as we restack and roll in. Lovely, one more. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. And we're going to flip over to the other side, moving your roller or moving your ball. And we'll do the same again, four more on this side to balance out. So inhale again, floating the arm up. Exhale, coming over, rolling away with the movement of the spine. Again, anchor down, equal weight on the sitting bones. Inhale to hold and exhale as you restack, roll in and float down. Lovely. Again, inhale up and exhale, rolling away, coming over. Inhale and exhale. Good. Two more. Feel that rib cage lifting out and up. Breathing into the side of the body and exhale, restack. Lovely, last one. And float it down. Lovely, well done. So now just coming round and having the roller behind the back of your legs. So you could use your small ball here. Again, quite similar to how we used it in classes this week. 
You're going to have it under the back of your pelvis. With the roller, it's going to give you more of a deep tissue release. And it's going to really get into hips and glutes. So bring yourself down, and as you just lift yourself into a mini bridge, roll the roller or the ball under the back of the pelvis. So if it is uncomfortable with the roller, maybe switch to the ball instead, or work on the floor, that's absolutely fine. So making sure that the roller isn't too far up, that it's in the lower back, because that's quite uncomfortable, and obviously not too far down that it's going to shoot out from underneath you. So right under the back of the sacrum, the back of your pelvis, and you can have hands on the roller for a little bit of added security here. And we are going to come up into a double knee fold position here. So if it's too much with the ball, because it's obviously smaller, then feel free to just work on the floor. So we're going to take the legs up one at a time into double knee folds. And if you are on the roller, you're going to really feel the weight on the roller. And it might give you quite a big release here through hips and glutes. So just go steady, keep it small if you need to. You can bring the legs together, so connect feet, knees and inner thighs, give them a little gentle squeeze together. And we're going to come into a hip roll here using the roller or on the floor. So let's inhale and exhale as you just roll hips and knees over to one side. I don't mind which way you go. So you just gently lift one side of the pelvis, feel the weight into the glute and onto the roller and it might feel really quite niggly on that side. Inhale as you bring it back to the centre, exhale as you take it to the opposite side. Lifting one side of the pelvis as you roll, inhale to come back to the centre, again exhale as you roll. So keep the legs together, keep them connected, not going too far, so keep the shoulders down. And if you do feel it a little bit niggly there, maybe around the hip, the glute, you could hold it for a moment, hold it for a breath. Try and release into that point of tension. Again, this is what the roller is good for. And just balance out to each side and then we're just going to change it very slightly. So back to the centre when you're ready. We're going to do the same movement again. So going over to one side, gentle roll. And now just open the bottom leg slightly. So you really get into that hip and glute on that side. Bring the leg back up, legs together, and then return to the center. Same to the other side. So we just gently roll. And you're gonna open the bottom leg slightly down towards the floor, down towards the roller. Bring it back up, legs back together, and then roll it back to the center. And let's go for four more. So just take your time. If this is too much, just keep the legs together. Keep a small hip roll if that feels easier. So you're opening up that hip and glute area here, releasing around the fascia. This is an area that does tend to get quite tight. I can feel it around my glutes here, definitely. Just balance yourself out, bring it back to the centre when you're ready. So let's keep the left leg in knee fold and just send the right leg away now, down onto the floor, lengthening out, reaching through the foot. So you're opening up the right hip flexors here. We're just going to hold it here. Just avoid the temptation to arch the spine. So think about drawing the rib cage down, settling shoulders and ribs like you would on the floor. Still think about a neutral position in here. But we're really getting into that right hip flexor, giving it a little bit of a stretch. Just let go of the weight of the leg as much as you can. And just take some deep breaths. And just to increase it very slightly, you can take your left hand onto the left knee and just draw the knee a little bit closer towards you if you can. So we're just increasing it and now you're going to also release around the left hip. And again, just hold it for a couple of deep breaths. And 
And then just release the left leg and just slowly bring that right leg back up into knee fold and we'll switch over. So now send the left leg away along the floor, reaching out through the foot, opening up the front of the left hip now. And just hold it here again, avoid arching the spine, lifting the ribs. Let go of the weight of the leg as much as you can. It takes a little moment for those muscles to, to let go. And just take a couple of deep breaths. And then again, just to increase that stretch, right hand onto the right knee and you can draw it a little bit closer towards you. Getting into that right hip as well now. And holding it there for a couple of deep breaths. And then just release that right leg. Slowly bring the left leg back up into double knee fold again. If you feel that you need to, maybe just readjust the roller underneath you so that you feel secure, because you're going to take your hands off the roller now and place the hands onto the front of the legs. So this is a nice way of again releasing around hips, but also really releasing into your lower back here. So feel that you're drawing the legs a little bit closer towards you into the hands and hold it here and press against the hand. So add a bit of resistance against the legs. Hold it here and take a deep breath. And then as you breathe out, just release away from the hands. Again, inhale, exhale as you draw the legs in, come to the hands, resisting the legs coming in towards you and hold it there. Deep breath. Exhale as you release, moving the legs away. And again, inhale, exhale as you draw the legs into the hands, resist the legs coming in, so pressing against the hands, inhale, exhale to release, we're going to do it one more time if you can, inhale, exhale coming in, pressing against the hands, resist the legs coming in, inhale, exhale to release, hands back onto the roller, feet down one at a time onto the floor and just step the feet out a little bit further so that you can then just lift, roll the roller out from underneath you, bring yourself down and into the floor and just take a moment to feel the back of the pelvis down into the mat, feel the difference maybe around the hips and the glutes and the lower back and then just slowly roll yourself up and we're going to move the roller behind the head now. So bringing it round behind you. And we're going to use the roller to try and release around the back of the head and the neck. I'm going to have to take my hair out here. So if you do have a ponytail or anything, you might need to take it out here so that you can rest and it's comfortable with the roller behind you. So you may want to have your hands onto the roller just to make sure it doesn't roll out from the back of your head. Feet tucked in towards you, hip width parallel. Think about your neutral spine, neutral pelvis. And you just want the roller right down at the base of your skull. And you should be able to kind of feel the bony prominences here on the back of your skull. And that's where we want to rest the roller. So don't bring it too far down that it's just resting on your neck. Make sure it is on the back of your head, the back of your skull. And so this is an area around the back of the head and we're going to move in a moment to around the back of the ears and this is an area that does tend to hold quite a lot of tension all these muscles help to keep your head up on top of your spine and they just hold lots of tension naturally because they're working against gravity all the time day in day out so they do tend to get quite tense and so that's where you can get tension headaches and then it feels like it creeps down into your shoulders as well because it all connects down into the top of the shoulders and the top of your spine. So we're just going to try and do a little bit of release here with the roller or you could use a ball behind the back of your head in a similar way. So we're just going to start off with nodding the head. So let's inhale, exhale as you nod 
the head, chin drawing down towards the chest. Hold it there as you inhale. And then exhale as you release and just opening up the throat slightly, rolling on the ball of the roller behind you. Inhale, exhale again as you nod, chin towards chest. Inhale, exhale as you open up the throat. Inhale, and exhale as we nod. So let's just go for a couple more. Bringing the head and neck into a little bit of flexion and extension. Keep the head heavy, so try to avoid lifting off. Just really relax onto the ball or onto the roller behind you. And just finish your last one and now just settle yourself into a neutral-ish position here with the roller. And let's just take it to the left this time. So you're just going to roll the head over to the left and then back to the centre. On the exhale, roll to the right. Inhale as you roll to the centre. Exhale, roll to the left. Inhale, roll to the centre. So again, just releasing a little bit here with the roller or with the ball underneath you. And the next time that you roll to the left, we're going to hold it there. You could face the opposite way if you do want to be seeing me. I'm just making sure that I'm seeing you. So on that left side or the opposite to me if you prefer. And we're going to hold it here. So you want to find the bony prominence behind the back of your ear. So make sure that you're not on your ear. So just behind, you might need to do a little bit of adjusting with the roller maybe, or with the ball. And we're gonna hold it here and we're gonna nod again. So inhale, exhale as you nod. Inhale, exhale as you take the head back, slightly opening up the throat. Inhale, exhale to nod. Inhale and exhale to take it back slightly. So you're working on that bony prominence behind the back of the ear, which can hold a lot of tension. Keeping the head heavy. One more each way. And then just settle, and we're gonna roll it over to the other side. So slowly bring it back to the center and then roll yourself over to the right. Again, finding that bony prominence behind the back of the ear and holding it there. Inhale, exhale to nod, inhale, Exhale as you take the head back, slightly opening up the throat. Inhale, exhale to nod. Working into that area in the back of the head. And just one more each way. Settling the head and rolling it back to the center. And now just slowly lift the head off the ball or off the roller, take it away, roll it out behind you maybe, and then bring the head and the arms down by your side. And just settle the head down into the floor and just feel the difference. Hopefully maybe a little bit released around head, neck and shoulders. And this is where, if you would like to, feel free to maybe replace your roller or ball with a pillow. And maybe a couple of pillows if you want to. Behind the back of the head, maybe behind the back of the knees. And just bring yourself into a comfortable position here for some relaxation. Just take a moment if you need to. Just to organise yourself, maybe grab a blanket if you want to. You can lengthen out the legs, you could roll onto your side if you prefer, or maybe bring yourself onto a chair. So just begin by making yourself comfortable. And then just slowly taking some nice deep breaths in your own time. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth.
Take several long, slow, deep breaths. Breathing in fully and exhaling slowly. And you can take the breath right down into your belly. Feel your stomach expand on an inhale and relax and let go as you exhale. Begin to let go of noises around you. Begin to shift your attention from outside to inside yourself. If you are distracted by sounds in the room, simply notice this and bring your focus back to your breathing. Take your awareness down to your feet and soften the soles, uncurling the toes. Soften your ankles, soften your calves. Release your knees, Release your thighs. Allow your hips to open. Allow the small of your back to open and release. Feel and enjoy the length of your spine, but let it go. Take your awareness down to your hands. Stretch your fingers away from your palms. And feel the center of your palms opening. Then allow the fingers to curl and the palms to soften. Allow your elbows to open. Allow the front of your shoulders to soften. With each out breath, allow your shoulder blades to widen. Allow your breastbone to soften. And allow your neck to release. Check your jaw. It should be loose and free. Allow your tongue to widen at its base and rest comfortably at the bottom of your mouth. Your lips are softly closed. Your eyes are softly closed. Enjoy the soft darkness. Your forehead is wide and smooth. Your face feels soft. Your body soft and warm. 
Allow your body to sink into the pillows or the chair supporting you. And observe your breathing. Breathing naturally and full. Start to bring your awareness back to your breathing and observe its natural rhythm. You can slowly start to move, maybe wiggle your fingers and then your toes and just take your time to move slowly when moving out of your relaxation and slowly come out of the floor. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much.